Good morning guys, Anthony 4 Before Diesel. Another quick video. As I said, we've got a couple of subjects that have come up this morning that I think are good ones to um, give a little bit of information on. The other one is glow plugs in the 1KD FTV engine, of course, that's what we're talking about. Um, now this is what we see and what we hear and obviously, as usual, a lot of communication with other workshops, people calling in the trade for help with lots of different things. Bit of a um, tech service hotline more than anything these days, I'll tell you. But anyway, um, this is what we see. Obviously on the 1KZs they were a problem, and that's probably why people ask. Um, the problems were, actually I should have got some of those out first, where are they? I've got some here somewhere, here we go, here's one. Here's a broken tip. Here's another broken tip, if you can see those, I'm going to throw all those in the pit. Here's one that's not broken. Um, grab another one. Plenty of them, right? So. There you go, another 1KZ, let me just have a look at the camera, can you see that? You can't see it, we'll just move it a little bit so you can see what's going on. There you go. Got a whole box full of them here actually, so... There's one that's not broken. Another one that is broken. So one, this is relevant for 1KZ and 1KD, there you go. So don't be confused, if you've got a 1KZ or a 1GR, they're all totally different problems. They've all got their, they've all got their issues. Um, we'll let some people pretend they haven't because they know better, but anyway um, 1KZ and 1KD diesels this is so we'll just line up those glow plug tips there You can get an idea what's going on. There's a few broken a few not Got, got a whole heap of, that'll do anyway. That gives you the picture doesn't it? Here we go There you go. There's your picture Okay, so what we see is 1KZ's those tips fall off um, It can end up riding off the engine can end up just with little noises for a long time. Maybe it'll burn through a hole in the piston later. Who knows what's going to happen? Sometimes you're lucky and it just goes straight out the valve and straight through the turbo with no damage. Anyway, what we're really talking about here is 1KD. So 1KZ, replace them every 100,000 Ks. It's quite urgent and important to do that. It's a serious issue. 1KD, we don't see any issues. I've never heard of anyone with an issue with a 1KD glow plug. The biggest issue is um, they can kind of get stuck in there, they've often been in there for a long time, depends on the conditions they're used in obviously, it varies, some are going to come out easy, some get stuck in there. Um, they often come out with a little bit of thread in them, you know, they get stuck, they crack loose, they get tight again, you know, you can lube them up, work them in or whatever, it's, it's just not a good thing. So from what we've seen, I say leave them alone, um, you know, don't worry about replacing the glow plugs because we don't see any issues with them causing problems, not working. For that matter, we don't really even need them in Australia, these common rails, they just start. Anyway, um, there it is, mate. There's a set, obviously, at about 300,000 Ks. They're fine. So what we found is the genuine ones are awesome, and that's why, obviously, that's what we use and what we keep in stock. So if you want to go and replace them, there it is. Try and get it the other way, get the part number for you. Flatten it out a bit. If you want one, there's the number. Uh, those ones will be sitting there in the bag a long time because, as I said, we don't we don't replace them. I suggest you don't take them out for that reason. If you've got them out, you may as well replace them because you've done the part that's risky. If you've got them out, you may as well replace them at you know two or three hundred thousand. If you're taking them out, if you go ahead and do that. Um, if anything changes, if we start seeing problems with glow plugs, naturally I'll let you know. Alright guys, have a nice day. See ya.